All right, here we go now. We are live, baby. A little close up right there. That way you guys can see what I'm about to do here. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I know uh, some of you know me. Some of you, most, most people don't know me. And this is why I'm doing these videos. <laughs> I'm about to do a, a painting study here. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So this is going to be a little portrait. This is this measures six by eight inches. And uh, look at that. Oh la la, je ne sais quoi. Mucho François right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start out by drawing a minimalist. This is a minimalist approach, okay, to painting. Uh, one of one of my favorite artists of all time that that I, I really admire the way he painted portraits was uh, Manet Edward Manet, and he admired another artist. It was a French painter Edward Manet, right? But he admired another artist whom I have tremendous uh, admiration and respect for, and so does probably most of the world. His name uh, is Velázquez, is a Spanish painter Velázquez. So. What I get from Manet, and based on, 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 on what I've read about him, how he spoke about painting, how he spoke about art, is that he took a quick approach, right? So if you notice, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very presto, right? It's a very quick presto, <laughs> like a cooking channel. It's a very quick approach. And the reason for that, I believe, I believe the reason for that is that he didn't want to leave so much for uh, thinking, right? He didn't want to get involved in the thinking process. And I've, I've, I've made countless videos about that, so I don't really want to go into it right here. Um, if you want to learn more about that, you can check out my YouTube channel, and I, I have probably over a thousand videos where I talk about that and the importance of not thinking so much when you're painting. But I, I really believe that that's why he was doing that. So I'm going to go and, and, and change the brush right here. I need to paint faster, says... Uh, yeah, this is the, 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 the trick to painting faster is uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of practice and, and, and patience, right? You got to have lots of patience. Uh, the patience comes from, 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 the, from the work itself. But uh, you learn how to paint fast when you begin to trust yourself. And one of, one of my mentors says, the, the, the way you begin to trust yourself is by keeping the promises you make to yourself, right? So what, what promises can you start keeping to, your, uh, you know, to, your, to yourself? What promises? Is it, is it every day I'm going to paint something? Well, if you skip days, you're going to lose trust in yourself, right? Uh, could it be every day I'm going to practice uh, painting? Not just painting, but practice painting, right? Practice. Um, how many how many hours can you practice painting? One, two hours. Not just painting, but practice, right? Can you practice the the, the human figure, the human face, or whatever? Can you practice these things, right? And and are you doing them daily so that you you can get into that state? of not not very judgmental right not very not not very judgmental in your own work i hate when painting takes too long yeah uh, i don't i don't think most of us like painting too long unless you're doing uh photorealism or something like that then it takes longer of course how many mentors do you have i usually keep about two no more than no more than three and that's stretching it uh do you deep do you dip uh, in walnut oil between colors, I tend to do it. Let me let me give you a little bit more because uh, there we go. I tend to do it, um, but I'm con I constantly keep this in my hand, in my right hand, right. I constantly keep this because what I'm doing is I'm doing this all the time. I constantly keep this. Okay, so so this is something that that I practice with. So it's not so much that I'm trying to keep my brush clean so much. It's more of a practice that I, it's a, it's a habit that I've developed, right? It's a habit. At this point, it's a habit. So 
So here we go. And you see, so the trick is to not overthink the painting so much. The more you overthink the painting, the, the harder it's going to be for you to simply paint it. You simply want to paint it. You don't, you don't want to overthink the thing. Now, this is not everyone's cup of tea, okay? I, I completely understand. This is my cup of tea. This is, this is how I work. This is how I make a living. This is not everyone's. And I, and I wouldn't want it to be everyone's either because you'll be, you'll be selling yourself short if you're doing exactly what I'm doing. But, uh, but it is something to, 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 you know, to consider, to learn and, and expand your own, your own uh, style, right? Whatever that is. Something like that. What is a bad habit you have? Uh, one of the bad habits that I have, that I consider a bad habit, is um, I don't over, I don't prepare so much, and I think it's it's a bit of a bad habit. Uh, meaning, when you're going to paint, preparation is very important. I think, uh, depending on what you are going to do. Uh, what I mean by preparing is, is maybe practicing a bit more before I start painting. Um, sort of like uh, singers, you know, they go into, before they perform, they go and they, and they do, they do uh, some rehearsing, right? I don't rehearse so much, so I, I, I would consider that a bit of a bad habit. Um, another bad, very bad habit that I have, if you want to learn about my bad habits, not just my good ones, so you can watch out, is... Um, one, the one that I'm, that I struggle the most and that I'm working, I'm working very hard to change is the lack of keeping momentum. This is probably the hardest thing for me. It's the hardest habit. And consequently, <laughs> it's the one that, that prevents me from reaching higher levels of success in my own painting and career. The keeping of momentum is is probably uh, the single one thing that that I um, work on most lately. I've been working on most lately. Momentum is 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 it's your ultimately is your discipline, right? Momentum is is your discipline. When you achieve momentum. It's a. Uh, it's really just your discipline, you know, how often, how repetitive, how often do you do the things that you have to do? If that makes any sense. Loose brush work. Yeah, totally. Do I throw pieces out? No, only when I get angry. <laughs> I, I do have my moments where I, where I get upset with a painting. And and I throw it out not because not because the painting is bad, but because that moment I think the painting is bad, right? When I look back, uh, the paintings are never bad. It's just how we feel about them. So I do have my moments where I'm like fuck the world, and I you know I'm like punching the painting da da da, and then I throw it away. I do have those moments. Uh, it's just I just don't record them. <laughs> Some people think that I don't have those moments, that I don't have those artists, those frustrated artist moments. Hell yeah, I do. You know, I have those moments where I'm like, I, I just, I just don't, I don't like what I'm doing or, or I have a, I have a, I'm overthinking what I'm doing or whatever. And then I just, I, I throw it away, right? I have, I have moments where, where, uh, here, let me paint a, another one next to it since I'm doing this little six by eight paintings right now I put this one right here next to this one there we go oh, you guys can see what I'm doing right here oh no you can't, you can't see it oh, I'm just gonna have to put this one right here there we go 
Yeah, some people, some people that, that, that messages that I get tend to think that I don't have this, this uh, fucked up moments, you know, that, that most artists have. Uh, I do have them. Uh, they're not as bad as they used to be, man. But, but some time ago, they used to be, I used to have these raging moments where I was like, you know, uh, hate everything that I do, right? And... Believe it or not, guys, that that I tie it to uh, to two things: self love and self discipline. When, when 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 you start having more and more discipline in whatever you do, you you kind of step away from those moments more because you stop you start trusting yourself more, right? You start trusting yourself more and more. Raging artist. <laughs> Does your son paint? No, my son doesn't paint. Uh, he's not. He's not into it. He says. Uh, he says he wants to pick a career that doesn't take so much work. And I told him because he sees me working here all the time. I told him good luck with that, dude. As I go for it, uh, I don't know a career that doesn't take a shitload of work. <laughs> I, I still yet to 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 find a career that does that 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 you just kind of chill. But I I think he he uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't really like painting as much as he did when he was when he was smaller. Uh, now he's into music, and I, I recently got him into boxing, so he's gonna start boxing. I want him to learn how to have a. Again, it's that self-discipline. You, you, if, you, if you hear me talk about something very much, it's the thing that I struggle the most with. Right? You, you guys hear me talk about this. this uh, and, and, and really, one of the things that I've learned in, in, in my career is if you, if, you, uh, if you lack that, no matter what you do, that is like, that is the shit that's going to, you know, get you. If you lack discipline, that is the shit that's going to get you. And so many of us can, can do our work, right? Many of us are actually not afraid of working hard. Uh, I come from a family that we, you were a kid, you worked. It wasn't like, well, you know, let's wait till you're 18 or 16 or... No, fuck no. I started working when I was like, I don't know, nine years old. My mom had me working uh, at home in different businesses, uh, home businesses and whatnot that my parents had in Mexico. Like, like everybody works, right? Everybody worked. It wasn't, and it wasn't, it wasn't that you worked like, like, oh, that's cute, right? You're working. No, it was a, like a fucking full-time job. It wasn't like, like, <laughs> it wasn't like I went and I worked and then I got to go play. It was like... You go to school, as soon as you get out of school, you have, you know, so much time, one or two hours to do homework, and then boom, baby, you go to work. And and many times I didn't even have time to do homework. I had to do homework, like, when I came back from work or, you know, like right in the middle of the night. Uh, this is not a soft story. This is a human story. <laughs> I think this is just about anyone. Uh depending on the circumstance where how you grew up or whatnot, uh, one of the things that I, I really am very thankful is my unwillingness to give up. When the moments that I felt like I didn't want to go to work, my dad would be like, no, dude, you're going to work, right? My mom would be like, this, this ain't whether you want to or not. This is something you're going to do for the rest of your life, so get used to it now. And so... I hated it. I hate every moment. I hated every moment. My whole adult life, I had two jobs. Um, but when I started working for myself as an artist, I realized that that I wasn't so prepared to it. <laughs> if you work for yourself, you have three jobs. Those of you who work for yourselves, and and if you work for yourself and you are winning at it whatever you want to call winning at it uh you have three jobs if you're not winning at it you still don't have three jobs you need to you need to go get yourself that third job uh 
if you work for yourself, I think. Uh, if you're like, man, I still haven't, I still haven't, uh, you know, things are still not working for me and I'm working for myself, it's because you are not putting in enough hours. You gotta put in the hours and then you start, you're gonna start seeing the, the, the benefit, the fruits. Uh, here's what happens a lot. Many of us, this is where I, I kind of, many of us are willing to put in the work and and we're like, man, I'm a hardworking person. That, that's what I thought about myself, right? I've been working since I was a kid. I come from, I come from a family of very hardworking people and blah, 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 and I, I can put the work in. Yeah, but can you put the work in consistently? If today you're gonna to give it 100%, can you give it 100% tomorrow? Let me give you a little, a little example. If today you're going to go and knock on a door to try to get a gallery show, or knock on five doors, and then paint two paintings, and then make a video, and then put them here, and then do that, and package some paintings, and whatnot, and then go to the, your day job, because maybe it's not your full-time job to be an artist yet, can you repeat it again tomorrow? That's, that's where it gets hairy. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie says you, your uh, live is so giving yourself advice, and we get to listen totally. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> it is about yeah. It's 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 really. I heard this from someone. Uh, I forgot who the name of the person was. I, I was listening to this podcast. Who was it? I think it was a uh, Lewis Howes. I think that guy's a, that, that guy does some great podcasts. If you guys have have a chance, go check out Lewis Howes. Uh, this dude. This dude. Uh, I think he was saying all, all type of help that you're trying to, you know, you're trying to share or whatever. Uh, it's really, it's really for you. It's for the person who's, who's, uh, who's preaching it, right? Really, the stuff that I that I'm sharing with you guys, it's reminders for me. It's like, hey, stay, stay on track. Don't fuck up. If you fuck up, get up right, get up again right away. You know, it's it's really for me, right? It's it's uh, I just. It's like a step on reset right now. I just get to share it. But but all of this advice is 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 intended for me, really. I'm 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 really reminding myself and I'm like, dude, while you're reminding yourself, might as well record it. Might as well record it, you know, while while you're reminding yourself. And this is something that I've been practicing. I've been practicing this for I don't know, maybe a year or two now here on on, on Instagram. And uh, YouTube, I think on YouTube, I, yeah, I started on YouTube, and and they're just they're just reminders, guys, for me. Like like I wake up and I'm like, okay, what do I got to do? I got to do A B C D, right? And but I feel like shit. Well, let me talk about that. Let me talk about how I feel like shit. I don't feel good enough. I don't feel like anyone's really gonna buy my artwork. Uh, I don't feel like uh, I feel defeated. Uh, I, I got. Three returns, and each one of those returns was, you know, I don't know, <laughs> like a thousand bucks a piece, and and you know, and now I have to pay this, and I have to take care of that, and you know, like stuff like that, right? And I just, you know, I had an argument with my wife the night before, and today I have to perform a hundred percent, right? Like I can't go fuck around and perform thirty percent because I know what that looks like. You start repeating those thirty percent. Uh, performance levels soon enough it's it's like it's like being in the water and 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 you stop kicking right you stop kicking soon enough you're going to start sinking and if you sink long enough you're going to drown you know oh thank you so much I like your choices of colors i love that check it out so this is just stuff that i've been i've been you know recording about myself guys uh just things that i've been that i've been doing you know things that i've been doing things the shit that i go through the shit that i go through on a day-to-day -day, right um things like oh i'm working for myself things are going great oh awesome this is something that i used to think right when i first started all right it's a bunch of it's a bunch of uh starts that really don't go anywhere in the beginning like, oh my God, I'm monetizing. I'm able to sell my artwork. That's so cool. And then three months later, it's like, oh, fuck, it was not enough, right? It looks like enough. You know, oh my God, I'm making 10, 12,000 bucks a month. Oh my God, this looks so great. And then because you're working for yourself, you're not, you're not counting on overhead. You're not counting on, on 
you don't have a manager. No one's really driving you. You got to put your shit together. Like no one is driving you. You ever thought about that one? If you work for yourself, no one is on your butt. You have to be on your butt, right? So you have to manage yourself and, and, and you have to, you have to create massive. And I mean this with like capital M massive amounts of accountability. And so otherwise you have this bullshit, right? Otherwise you have this bullshit like, oh, I did great one month and then I did horrible. Oh, I did great. I did horrible. This bullshit does, this bullshit doesn't come because, because of all the reasons you think this bullshit comes because you don't have accountability. That's where it comes from. And it took me years to understand that, right? I used to think like, oh, I'm having these zigzags because I haven't hired enough people. Oh, I'm having these zigzags because I don't have a big enough studio. Oh, I'm having this, you know, all this like bullshit explanations, excuses, right? That I came up with. And then time goes by and you start learning that, oh, no, dude, it's because you're not very disciplined. Why am I not very disciplined? And, you know, and start going into, into shit like, well, maybe I don't think much about myself. You know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm too, uh, maybe I'm too negative, right? And you start doing that, so, that, that soul searching and, and you start finding out like, like what's preventing you. you know? And this, this has been my journey and, and I get to record it and, and share it with other people. So I hope uh, you guys benefit from it. And uh, I got to get back to work, guys. Take care. And talk to you soon. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. I don't know. I'm going to upload this one on YouTube. And if you are not following me on Instagram, I don't know what you're thinking. You should be following me on Instagram. Like, this shit is very cool. Uh, share the video. Share the love. If you're not sharing these videos, uh, my little heart goes a little sad. <laughs> and if you have questions, please like, comment. Uh, no, DM me. DM me because I always get back to people. Uh, I figure out a way. Sometimes uh, before breakfast, some, sometimes before I go to sleep. I try not to do it before I go to sleep and I try not to do it when I wake up because I'm practicing this whole thing of not being next to my phone when in those two times because I want to own my own time. And so I'm really practicing that right now. So never mind that. I'll get back to you in lunch. <laughs> All right. Take care. Adios.